Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the RK Tokens podcast. We are the RK Tokens. I am the Anomaly Will Farrow. Leo Thomas, aka Mr. Slick Living. I am Patrick Cloud. And of course, we got Kadeem on the ones and twos, the tech guy. And of course, today we are back on our topics, the trending topics in the video game and the pop culture, excuse me, industry. We always want to try to keep y'all updated and just let y'all know where we're coming from. And we are starting off in the Xbox realm. Uh, I was waiting for shot. I was, I was waiting for shots being fired. Okay. So uh, Xbox. No. no get, get underneath the table, nigga. Here they come. <laughs> right. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> get underneath the table already. Cause they come. Yeah. Uh, so uh, Pat, I know you have uh, more information on what we're talking about Xbox wise. So yeah. I'm going to pass it to you. Thank you. So um, this this segment is kind of called Xbox. What are you doing? Because uh, they 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 made a couple of moves that uh, some could argue are dumb. Some could argue are are maybe dope and and next level. So um, the first one before we get into the uh, the the games and the the acquisitions of studios that they just got, uh, I do want to talk about this memory card that you guys mentioned uh that they had coming out i know kadeem yes. had a lot of a lot more information on it but i did apparently it's a 200 dollars memory card that only stores one terabyte of information and i guess the the the, the <laughs> reasoning behind it is because it, it access it's faster or kadeem it what do you is. think it was faster yeah. so the idea about it is it's going actually directly into the, the actual motherboard, the actual computer. You know, you know how yes. you actually have the USBs and everything else. like this is actually connecting directly to the system. Okay. So obviously going to be able to read a lot faster, read and write a lot faster. So you can kind of keep up the gameplay and the frames per second and everything else like that. That's the whole idea behind it. My problem is I know that because I'm on the tech side. The regular consumer is not going to understand why I would have to buy a $220 terabyte storage card when I can go buy a hard drive, connect to that to the Xbox, and store my games there. And other stuff. <laughs> and other stuff for that same exact price. Because 220 is damn near the price of the Xbox One S. Damn near. This this is true, which is why I, uh, after looking at this, I had said and recommended that perhaps if, depending on what the piece is for the Xbox going into the motherboard, I can understand that. Now, if that is a hundred dollars, and then you throw in a, a one terabyte solid state hard drive, because it is a solid state, right? Apparently, it's not. It's something else completely different from solid state. It's something that goes directly. Into, it's like a own proprietary Xbox storage card. From the ports I've seen on the back of this Xbox, and this is yeah. supposed to go to the X, correct? The X and the S, either one. And the S. I've seen the ports on the back of the X. There is a, a port that is, doesn't look like any other thing. doesn't look like HDMI, USB, anything. But this looks like this is something that Xbox specifically only built for this console. Exactly. And it's supposed to slide right in there. It almost comes seamless with the console, right? It's right. Supposed, of course, it's gonna it's probably going to come up right to where that, that icon is, the Xbox icon. And it's going to go directly, yeah, go directly in there. The, it, like I said, I, I understand the whole idea behind it. I get it that it's supposed to keep that frame rate data and all that up. up. The idea, though, that consumers are not going to get this. They're not going to understand this for $220, I bro. I don't know, man. I Look, man, there's a lot of things I don't understand consumers getting in their in they lives, like the big-ass toys with the X on their eyes for, like, $400. But people buy them. There's a whole statue somewhere in this world sky well, high of it. Cause, my thing way. is this my thing is this in that's this in, in this generation we're already using hard drives to store stuff. for everything right. for everything like a, a ps4 you can you can buy a hard drive put your games on there <laughs> xbox the new xboxes that are out right now not not the ones coming out the ones that you have right now do the same exact thing so the idea that we're already doing it and then all of a sudden you're going to try to change it up and have us buy something that's way more expensive Mm -hmm. Or for what for what's the reason? I think about you. You think it's the price tag. It's the price, it's the tag, price tag. tag. It's just the price tag that's getting. It, it's, it's, that's it's gonna be a hard. That's gonna be a hard sell. I didn't know it was a Seagate. That's the I, type of drives I use too. But I don't. I don't think this is gonna be a hard sell. I think y'all are really underselling like the potential of what this is. First of all, it they just brought back basically memory cards. 
like how they did in PlayStation. You can slip yourself in. Now also what what's going real what really is going to make this if it's worth it or not is the performance value. Now if yep. it's like no it load time, huh? I don't think it does it help performance or is it just uh for memory card? It's so just it's, memory? it's 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 supposed to keep the 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 reading so pretty much reading off a hard drive and stuff like that. Uh, the USB has limitations. You know what I mean? As much as you would connect hard drives to the PS4 and, and play games off of that, it is running a little bit slower. So the idea of keeping it at 120 frames per second with this memory card, I'm sure it's, it can stay at that frame, at that frames per second. It, it's just performance is the only thing that it's really going to give you. Is that better than, so w- would it make, regardless of storing memory, would yeah. plugging that into your Xbox make it run better than if no. it didn't have it in? No, it would not make it. No, no, just game. just the gameplay. Is just the it gameplay. Is. Just it yeah. would be able for you to keep have more games stored on there and have them run run like you're supposed to. And does it condense the game size? That's another probably, thing. Probably. Will not. it it's, will it's it not, also whatever. compact it and put it in there to save more games? And it's also one. Ter- Here's my thing. I I feel like gaming with gaming nostalgia is always a an interesting point. You know, like especially like they're running back a lot of games. You know, even some, you know, accessories or controllers have a nostalgic feel, and that's fine. One of the things that I never was nostalgic about was memory cards. I think that's something that they moved past technology-wise, and everybody was happier about it. I don't miss memory cards. I don't want to recreate memory cards. And then even if you did miss memory cards, they were nowhere near two hundred and twenty dollars. Like that's crazy. <laughs> that's more expensive than when we remember. If you're trying to pull the whole like traditional thing, so I just think that this is a very strange move, um, especially since one terabyte, especially in gaming, I feel like that could fill up fairly quickly uh, for two hundred and twenty dollars com- compared to all of the like external drives that you can get with for that price. You know, so, yeah. It's just. That's, that's, it's, it's, that's the original, the original PlayStation memory card we all remember. PS2 memory cards were classic. PS3 there was no more. Yeah. N64 had a memory card. It was the thing that went to the bottom of the remote controller. Yeah, it was a memory. I pack. thought that was a rumble pack. It's a memory pack, right, Kadeem? There was a there was a memory pack as well. I think they call it a controller pack. Like, not yeah. many games used it. Not many games used it, but it's some games did. Pack. I do remember. Star, that. I remember Star Fox acquired it. That was some fire. And then. The Dreamcast had one of the most weirdest memory cards. The, v- a the VMU, the, the yeah. virtual memory unit. The we weren't VMUs. ready for it. Uh-uh. We were not ready for that. Uh-uh. The technology wasn't it was ready. A Tamag- it was a Tamagotchi. They were huge, though. They were like, yeah, to get all that stuff, they were like they were like little pods. But remember, I think GameCube had the little mini memory. Yeah, Game, Game Game GameCube memory had it, too. too. Yeah, and so Xbox did, too, but we just didn't need them at that point. Yeah. Like at that point, we're already going toward the Xbox had memory cards as well. Right. Not many people use them, so you know. So whatever what, what we can say about this Xbox uh, one terabyte storage card is going to cost one hundred twenty dollars. What we can say about it is it's going to be on sale on clearance for a hundred bucks in about six months after its release. Probably. That's what I'm assuming. I, I wish it was. Until I know what it does performance wise. I'm going to reserve judgment because from a person that plays on a hard drive regular, it sucks. Right. So because you have one, you have to worry about it. The PlayStation for here disconnecting the hard drive because okay. somehow it just does it, it for some reason don't know how to read it. And now I got to re- repair it. Um, there's just a lot of things when you have to deal from a universal uh, hard drive and especially switching it over to games and consoles so many things be going wrong like I've actually had to buy a separate one because when I was using it it erased everything else but the video game so I lost yeah. all my work it's weird to do both it's, I, I have mine just for games yeah it's so it's like to have one exclusively and ju- just for your video games and like I said if it can make playing the game it's like we said like not being so slower and you can remove it from your storage you know like i said i'm not i'm not agreeing with the price and everything like that but i do see the importance of changing the game and having it something straight specific for their console hey, hey will food, just just food for th- well not even food for thought but the idea that i just want to look up the price of a of a solid state drive two terabyte right now like how much are those going for i'm gonna look it up real 
I've, and I've I, I mean, I've been I've been going off of my uh, external on my PlayStation for a few months now, and I don't really, you know, like, as long as it's in a spot that doesn't get knocked around or disconnected, I haven't seen any issues. And then, you know, I have I still have the option to. Uh, you know, move those games around and take and switch them to other externals and use that for other things. So I just don't know why I would pay double, triple that for yep. something on the Xbox that doesn't really do anything else. That's just yep. wild to me. That too, and but but most people aren't like us that use both. They do like have stuff like there's a lot of stuff that people get for gaming that we would never use. But for them, it's essential as fuck. Like I would never buy a racing wheel for a uh, Gran Turismo because I got the fucking controller. But some people will buy the wheel because they say, yo, it gives me a better feel, gives me a better experience. So it's just really all in what you want your experience to be. But solid states uh, start at like 129. Yeah, from what like I'm for, seeing. yeah, I'm seeing right now a one terabyte solid state drive, the fastest that the computers are running right now, um, 119 bucks. So for them charging almost you know, another $100 on top of it. Listen, I lived through uh, the, the PS Vita had this problem as well. The PS Vita, when it first came out, those memory cards for the Vita were crazy expensive. Like, crazy expensive. Like, 64 gigabytes were like, was 120 bucks at that point. But it was only for the Vita, though. That's the thing, too. Exactly, but this is the same exact thing. Well, like, this is only going to work. Memory card. Yeah, exactly. Right. So and this, look, that's a problem. It's not a problem. We live in the world of exclusive. The Vita died. The Vita, the Vita died. didn't die, but that tall ass little cartoon thing I mentioned is still alive and kicking. People are paying five thousand dollars for Nike Yeezys, bro. There is no thing when it comes to price, bro. If people want it, they gonna get it. They don't, they don't care. want it. They don't want it. That's different. You keep you keep comparing it to aesthetic things like figurines and shoes. You get. A, like a, a look or money's worth out of that two hundred dollars for a stick that you just put in your xbox and it does something that you're you, it, you're already familiar with with external drives it's just like i don't i don't see but, it but you saying that with everything like from a rumble pack to anything else extra that's what i was saying when you had walked off it's just it's it's based off of your experience and how you want it like people will pay two hundred dollars extra to have just a few more gigs of ram for stuff to move faster so it's really just all how you want your experience to be and people will pay whatever it is that they want to pay for so i'm not again i'm not agreeing with the price i'm just still reserving judgment until i see like what the actual performance for it is and if it's worth it we shall see we shall see um shall. other than that in uh xbox what are you doing um, these acquisitions, they, uh, I, I think my theory is that they heard uh, all the internet rumbles of PS5 and how much Sony is killing it and no one's going to get an Xbox. So they did what they do and they just bought a whole bunch of stuff. They just bought people who made games uh, to get their titles up. And, uh, you know, according to IGN, uh, they, they did, uh, um, they're, they're planning an acquisition of ZeniMax Media and uh, how do you say it? Bethesda? Bethesda. Bethesda. Bethesda uh, Softworks. Um, and um, the, the Microsoft Game Studios, uh, their first party developers have ballooned to nearly two dozen studios in total. And uh, we're going to go th we're going to go through them. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to pull that up right now. Uh, so you see, this is this is what happened, Pat. When you make them Xbox videos for all those years, this is what happens. They saw that. Well, that well, the thing is, they could have made just started developing games that were dope, you know. But they just were like, you know what? We're gonna buy some. Uh, we're gonna just buy some uh, studios that make games. And the coldest part is that we'll we'll see those in a couple slides. But they they bought a couple of PS5 exclusives too. <laughs> they were like, no, us too. <laughs> um, um. So this first they slide. Have they before before we begin? Have uh, can they, has has Microsoft like ever developed like video games for Xbox? Like straight out of their stuff, right? The only thing I can think of is that Ori game, Microsoft Game Studio. They're, they do have a Microsoft Game Studios. It does exist, but okay, you know, I mean, we're gonna go down the list because I would I would have yeah. thought Halo was made by them, but that's made by Three Four Three Industries now, so that's not even technically. Microsoft now, Microsoft. right? Because it was, it did. You said like the Microsoft little studio yeah, yeah. little design yeah, come yeah. up. They did okay. Coalition. 
Coalition, I, I mean, I, I thought Gear, that's Gears. I yep. thought it was made for Microsoft Game Studios. So these are ones that have been around. The, okay. I'll, I'll leave it at this. Like, Sony, obviously Sony Computer Studios. Santa Monica, Sa is it Santa Monica Studios? That makes Some, God of War? Something like that. I it's, know it's Santa something. It's well, like Santa Monica. Yeah, I want to say it is. It's yeah. Santa Monica. So technically speaking, even though that it's it's Sony, but at the end of the day, it's Santa Monica Studios that are making yeah, it. So I think it's just under an umbrella is the whole idea behind this. So Sony and Xbox is like the distribution company exactly. and they're the developers. Okay. Exactly. exactly. But Sony does have games that it makes itself though, right? Like Sony exclusives? Uh, I would think so. I mean, because I would God say that they do it. have an in-house game studio though. They do. They do. All right. Can we they go do. back to the uh, first one? Yeah, let's go back to the first one. The first one is, of course, it's right. Forza. So we, got, go we got Turn 10, who is known for uh, Forza Motorsport. Will, you, you copping? Copping what? Forza. Why y'all act like I like these games? I'm like, like, I, no, I thought you said you did. No. And Gran Turismo. Get them both. No. I'm getting, I'm getting the new. Like, I want to see what it's like. Because every new, every next gen one has cool. They can show their graphics off really well with car games. So I'm a, you'll I'm a love game. it. You'll love it for that. But yeah, like, no, I'm not. No I thought, so Turn 10 is not a place. Like, that's a PlayStation studio right there. Right? Was, was Forza for just PlayStation? Forza's for Xbox. Xbox. Gran Turismo is PlayStation. I thought yeah, Forza exactly. was their competition. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Forza is Forza is only on Xbox. Okay, I'm about to. Okay, yeah, uh, the Coalition, which was known for Gears, new Gears game, and 343, known for Halo. So, play, download, delete, y'all. Oh, fuck. Play, um, go ahead. Play Gears, download Halo. You can get Forza obliterated. I'm good. Uh, I am going to play Gears, download Forza, and you can get Halo the fuck out of here. Yeesh. Master Chief gets no love in your house? Bro, that game is trash, bro. I do not like that game. That game is very Halo. overrated. You're not gonna, you're not gonna give it a, a chance even on the, on the next gen? Bro, I have a Halo Infinite themed Xbox, yeah. and I still ain't started that game. I'm not gonna carry my hatred into next gen. I'm gonna see... <laughs> I'm gonna see what everything is like so I can reboot it if I need to. I can't. Oh, yeah. It's not fair to keep saying Halo's trash after the new generation version. If it's dope, then I'm gonna I'm I'm see. Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm just gonna gonna telling you the latest version is Xbox One. Started, did not complete. Like, literally, the first 10 minutes in, I was like, I, I'm and okay. Everything else, though, we'll definitely give it a try. All right, let's go to the next one. We got uh, Bethesda. You can give us yours. Huh? Oh, you want to give us yours? Oh, I'm playing Halo, downloading Gears, uh, deleting Forza, even though I do right. want to. So. Um, all right, we got Bethesda, which has Elder Scrolls, Fallout, and Starfield. Obsidian, which has uh, Outer Worlds, Grounded, Fallout, New Vegas. And then Rare, which has Sea of Thieves, Everwild and Battletoads. Oh, uh, you, you down for a new Battletoads? I'm down it, for a new Battletoads. No, it came out. It's garbage. I played it. Oh, Wait, sorry. Which one? Battletoads. They have a new Battletoads game out. I do no, remember. No, no. You what about for the that. new next gen? No, I mean, I mean, one, they did literally it released last month. Pat. Ah, okay. <laughs> yep. It's, it's not good. I'll let you know right now. The, the voiceover alone, you're not gonna like it. Play, download, delete. Nope, that's a heavy delete, delete, delete on my part. Come on, what? dog. What? You got rare. Part. You didn't mention one game just now that made me jump. None of it. But company-wise, rare could give us a reboot of Banjo. That's the only us... reason you're happy, just because rare is like, kicking. That's you, it. You didn't. Banjo's not mentioned in that list, Pat. No, 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 no. But I'm just saying the fact that they have rare means that they could potentially give us a new Banjo, a new Diddy Kong, a new Donkey Kong 64. We were just talking about that. And then what was the last one? Uh, Conkers? Anybody care about Conkers? Pat, I will say this. The idea that Donkey Kong still is owned by Microsoft, is that how that works? You know what I mean? Because Don th that's the kind of weird thing between Donkey Kong. Because technically Rare made the games back in the day, but Donkey Kong is for sure Nintendo. For they can't sure. give us a 64? Oh, I don't think Switch would let that happen, huh? That's what I'm saying. So that's the weird thing about that, about Donkey Kong. I leave Donkey well, no, Kong they can release their own version. You just couldn't release the back catalog if you don't own it. Yeah. Because they had that rare replay uh, thing for the Xbox that dropped a whole bunch of rare old school games. Yeah. Right. Donkey Kong was not on that list. 
Yeah. Damn, well then switch. What are you doing? Did anybody play Sea of Thieves? No. No. The Did first not. comment is Sea of Thieves is dead. <laughs> yeah. So. There I don't know if it's getting love like that. Do, no do, Fallout do. fans? Oh, I am. I'm, I'm not the only Fallout fan here. here yeah. so. Elder Scrolls? Nobody? Nope. nope. Okay. I, mean, I, got, I mean, I got mine. I'm I'm going to go play Bashida just because they have Wolfstein and um, what was my other game? Wolfstein and uh, The Evil Within. Which one did you pick? Uh, uh, Bethesda for, for play. Um, oh, I, that's a wolf. Oh, okay. Yeah, Wolfstein was made by uh, Bethesda. I'm going to go uh, download Obsidian just because they made Star Wars Knights of the Round Table and a no! few uh, South Park games. Don't do it. I, I don't know enough about. Hold on, let me let me before I before let me you see. You're leading battle toads. Stick with your gut, Will. <laughs> Double O Seven, not... Perfect Dark. We could get wrong. into Perfect Dark. Sorry, Who? Sorry. Ooh, point, wait a minute. At this point, oh. I just got rare pulled up. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. No, I'm sorry. Um, we like to flip Corp. that. We like to flip Blast that. Corps? Bethesda, I'm still going to play Bethesda but, uh, uh, first. Rare, I'm going to download just because of the potential of all of this coming back. Like, we got, <laughs> like you said, Perfect Dark, Star Fox Adventures. What else they got on here? Hey, Conkers. I'm fucking what? Conkers, man. Why'd you Conker bring wouldn't be Nintendo either. It was is that a no. rare original? That's a rare original. Oh, <laughs> King Griffey Jr.'s win and run. Yeah, just off of that. Just off of that. D down uh download Obsidian of uh, Rare, and you can delete Obsidian. I'm sorry. What did Obsidian. you say? You want a King Griff and Griffey baseball game in 2021. Hey, listen, man. Oh, look, listen. I got dreams, okay? One of my dreams is to meet Ken Griffey Jr. and give him a hug. I, I have a lot of I have a lot of small details in my life I want to achieve, and that's one of them. Michael okay. John White is the other one. Hey, you know, we all got hopes and dreams, brother. Okay. okay. But I would definitely not play a King Griffey Jr. baseball game now. No. Gotcha. Okay. No. Gotcha. All right. I want to hug Arab Kabadu. I feel like everybody wants to hug somebody. I want to hug Jill Scott too. I feel like they both have amazing hugs. You want to let your dreads entangle with her as Pat. I want to hug Rashida Jones and uh, Pierce of Right. I wanted to hug uh, what's her face from Harlem Nights. Uh, Clea, I know you don't know who I'm talking about, but uh, <laughs> Dolores, man. I want to hug Dolores. Oh, and Adina Howard. And Adina Howard. Yeah. I want to hug Adina Howard. Now I want to hug Pat LaBelle and then have her make me cook something, you know. Yeah. Clea, you, wanna... going, you going delete, delete, delete? Yeah, delete, delete, delete for me. Jeez. That's yeah. rough. All right. Well, we got next. Uh, okay, we got Playground Games, Forza Horizon this time, and Fable. I don't know if anybody played Fable. Fable was good. Fable ID, was good. ID Software, which Doom, Quake, and Rage. I don't know what Rage is, but I like Quake more than Doom, low key. Right. And then Ninja Theory, which had Hellblade and Bleeding Edge. Damn near the same game, but that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like Ninja Theory games are like, eh, you can pretty much throw them in there with the Ninja Guide. Okay, so, and then for Playground, Forza, that's the new one. So the ones you be getting now, these are the people that's making the new Forzas. Any Fables? Fable fans? I don't see a new Fable coming out, so. No, um, they, no they, got a, they got a new Fable. They it. Fable 2's they, coming. Yeah, another, another, Fable's, another Fable's coming. Another Fable's coming. Another Fable's coming. Damn, there's only there's only been one. No, there's three. There's been three of them, and they just yeah. There's three of them on the Xbox 360. So. Uh, I'm not really excited for anything but ID Software. So and that's yeah. they all the same. They all kind of fall into the same thing because it has Doom, Quake, and Rage, and so did uh, Bethesda for ID. Mm-hmm. Um, looking well, at the ID, download Ninja Theory, uh, Playground. That's gonna be a hard delete for me. <laughs> All right, well, the next slide is where it gets interesting. Uh, we got uh, Mojang, which made Minecraft, pretty big. Uh, Arcane Studios, which is the interesting one. This is Dishonored, Prey, and Deathloop, which were for mm. PS5 and PC. It, is, it says for PS5 and PC, it's still there. So that means it's still going there. 
but wait, yeah, now they just entered themselves into chat. And then Double Fine, which was known for Psychonauts and Broken Age. I actually really enjoyed the Psychonauts game. Psychonauts is actually a really good game. It's, is it's Psychonauts, a is, that the, is that the character that we see right there? Is he from yeah, Psychonauts? Yeah, that's, that's him. Okay, I remember that game. Okay. Dang, Arcane made uh, Bioshock? Did it make Bioshock? Yeah. I thought 2K, well, 2K Games did, but I don't know. It says Bioshock on here. Hmm. What, what's Bioshock? That is a good question. Hold on one second. If they made infinite, then they can keep it. Sorry, I hate it. No, hey, Bioshock 2. Okay. Oh, Bioshock 2. Is, I don't really remember that one. Yeah, it was okay. Yeah, it's probably like you like infinite? I don't like infinite. It was completely different from 1 and 2. Completely different. You didn't like the Spider-Man aspect? No, no, I did not like the Spider-Man aspect of it. I never really played Dishonored. Dishonored is a pretty dope game, man. I like the idea of Dishonored. You can either... You can either you're a, you're pretty much an assassin. So you can literally run around and kill everything and make the city worse because it's like the Black Plague type of situation. Rats everywhere. Okay. And or you can actually save or like just take care of the person you're supposed to kill or save them or it, it's pretty much you have two ways of playing it. It's pretty dope. It's pretty okay. dope game. Yeah. Okay. I'm just excited about Death Loop, so I'm definitely Pizza. gonna play. Arcane Studios, download Double Fine, and you can get Minecraft. All the Minecraft the Legend, though. I don't understand <laughs> it. There, mm. Which is just proof of what gaming is. This is just proof that how Minecraft is such a, like, monstrosity of, of, of a title within the gaming world. I, I've tried playing it. There's nothing exciting about it for me. But that. talk to anybody else who's a huge fan of this franchise. They can give you lores that have been made up, what they do and how they spend hours. It's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. So that's a delete for you with mine with Mojang? That's a delete for me and mine. What you what you playing and downloading? I'm playing Arcane Download and Double Fine. Okay. And uh for me, I am going to uh delete Arcane Studios. I'm gonna delete Double Fine and I'm gonna obliterate Mojang. Wow. I, I know that wasn't even an option, but I brought it in anyway. Okay. Minecraft is a waste of space. I don't understand it. And to be honest, I wish that entire building would get shut down. Not nothing bad happened to it. Just shut down. Nice little pink notice. You're closed. I, I will say this. The idea that Minecraft in 4K was actually a thing that Microsoft announced like someone needed that in their lives. You know? Microsoft but like needed... clear graphics? Exactly. But the idea, what, what does that mean? That's the whole Rip. point. Like, what does that mean? Like you're more that's high rule. <laughs> you have exactly. Breath of the Wild then. Exactly. You're more boxy. I don't get it. I don't no, but you get to build out the entire land of Hyrule. It's it's that's. Like, I, don't, I don't understand why. Difference. Doing it. Anyway, you get to build it. Moving right I mean, along. Oh, there's right, more. Well, that was that was low key the, the the last interesting one. So we can just glaze through this one. We got yeah. Machine Games. Uh, who's actually known for Wolfenstein? Didn't you say that uh, that was another one that uh, from another there, one? There, I think like all of these have taken these titles and at least made them one. Like I'm seeing different, ver yeah, like I'm seeing different versions of like Verizon, Quake, Doom, Wolfenstein, and Fallout. All of them have, I think, had a chance to make a different version of each one. Yeah. So I wonder if it says known for, if that means they uh, created it, you know, like originally. Well, no, I think that's like their best game. Cause like the other one that you had that I uh, showed like Bioshock and then like Quake might be like the best game. Oh, like their biggest game? To, yeah, okay. that they've been known to make. All right, then we got Inzile, which is known for Wasteland, which I haven't, I don't know what that oh, is. I what that is. Tango Gameworks known for The Evil Within, Ghostwire and Tokyo. Also, yeah. PS5 snatches. Um, that looks like Daryl from The Walking Dead. Uh, the Evil Within is actually a pretty, pretty dope game. Yes, it is. Evil Within 2 is even better. Yeah, Evil Within is actually a pretty dope series. So I give it that. To one. Tokyo's pretty cool, too, uh, yeah. from the trailer I saw. I don't know what it's about, but uh, it's saying pretty cool. Yeah. So, I, again, and, it's still going to the PS5 no matter what. So, you know, still letting it be known. Uh, Undead Labs, State of Decay. That looks cool. Uh, World's Edge, Age of Empires, never got into it. Zenimax Online, Elder Scrolls Online. That's probably their biggest one outside of Doom. That's what? probably their biggest thing. They, Elder Scrolls uh, Online? That's like I mean, World of Warcraft. Yeah, if they get Elder Scrolls 6, like that's the only thing that can probably move some consoles. That and that alone will move consoles. But yeah. I don't know, man. Microsoft, even with this purchase, they're, they're still... 
Still, Still what? There's, they're in trouble, dog. They are in I'm trouble. This lineup what is you cool. Mean? This lineup is cool, but it's still kind of Yon is City, it, you know? Is it, is it moving consoles? Am look, I it, look, listen. This for, is the only here's, different people. There's only one. There's only one piece that these cats are missing now: creative, exclusive top content. And as you can see, they rounding up house. So as we know, since what you mean rounding up house? Look, they buying up everything. This is dog. This is monopoly now. They didn't have what? Bro, you, no, we, just, we just explained. PlayStation and Xbox don't make games. Developers do, so they Bro. buying up everything that they can. Hold on, hold on real quick. Real they quick, haven't real quick. had. They. They're none of them are like heavy hitters. The only, no. the biggest news is that Deathloop is now available on both. Um, That's yeah. really oh, yeah. the best news. If they would have to buy Kratos, you know what I mean? Like they would have to take Uncharted. They would have to take something really, really big from PlayStation to like even it out. These were cool. Like I want, like, you, I want I like... you to read this before before we continue with this conversation. Ah, okay. uh, did they half pull out? Bro, I want you to read that again and then tell me what you get from this. Bethesda to remain semi-independent after Microsoft acquisition. They didn't give it all up. Oh, no, 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 read it, read it, please read it, because that's not, that could mean something totally different. Okay, so speaking to CNET, I'm going to read what the cop, what the caption said, speaking to CNET, Spencer made clear that while Bethesda Games will adopt some of Xbox's new practices, including launching into the Game Pass and becoming playable through streaming, the company will retain some of it, of the, uh, autonomy, or at that resulted into some of the biggest games of all time. So that being said, if they want to release to another console for certain games, I feel like they still can. That's the they can still make games and bring them over to PlayStation, but that still does not say that Xbox don't own everything they've already made. They just still they have are the DLC. They just literally became Xbox DLC. They're not its own game but they are DLC and they can still release to the PlayStation. That's, but that's the, probably got a bag from that. That was probably a that's, smart move. Yeah. That's yeah. smart. That's that's the heaviest of the studios that they've acquired. Yeah. But they so, Kadima, Kadima told me uh, sometime either this year or late last year that Xbox had bought up, a, Microsoft had bought up a whole bunch of independent gaming studios. Yep. Was the part that's kind of throwing me for a loop here is none, nothing came from that? Apparently not, man. Like it's, it's, y'all, y'all keep saying it like people can't be cooking right now. That's what y'all keep. That's the thing y'all like. Listen, y'all see it like this. Let's take a look over at Sony. What you guys doing over there? The house is on fire. You guys are rebuilding three different towns. Okay, Xbox. Again, no development. They, Nothing. They, they could, they Still done ground floor right level. Could, what are we okay. doing, Will? Hey, look, look. All right, all right. I just here, here's the thing. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this now. From from main standpoint, yes. But I ask all three of you, keep that same energy, because when they, because it, it, if and I'm gonna say when, just as a fan, they come back to put their foot in your ass. Don't don't say shit, because I want this replay. No, why? And, why? And, I want this because y'all keep going. Xbox ain't gonna. But catch what you're you. what you're doing is you're basically banking everything based off of potential. What we're doing is we're going based off of what they have shown us. This exactly. is just speculation. If they show us a trailer, and, and I, like I said, I'm buying the game. I'm playing these games. I'm but, playing both too. I'm, but if we're going based off of speculation, PlayStation has been hinting at stuff all year. They showed us the console. It looked better. They showed us the rollout of games. It was more interesting. They showed out the... They showed the, the, the hints at games to come, like Kratos. We are excited after these rollouts. Xbox yep. hasn't really shown us anything. So if, yeah, in six months to an eight months, if they start dropping new games that we're excited about, of course I'm not going to keep the same energy. They didn't show us anything. And I'm just saying that this acquisition was big for them, but before they had nothing. There was literally nothing that anything anybody was excited about. Now it's just like, okay, like the Skyrim guys are, are excited, you know, like Psychonauts coming back, you know, Halo's coming back. Now it's like there is excitement, but... Niggas is tripping if they're talking about like this acquisition. Now it's neck and neck with PlayStation Five. It's, no, just, it's nah. just not. No, 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 no one's and no one. Oh, well, I'm not gonna say no one. I'm saying I'm not saying it. 
from here, I'm ne I've never been speaking about just this particular console. I'm always speaking as these two people in general, PlayStation and Xbox. As far as PlayStation 5 and Xbox series go, you already know PS5 won. Like, <laughs> like, like, let's just face it. They've already won as far as the new rollout coming out. But as far as this new console war beginning, don't be sleeping on Xbox, man. It should be interesting. And my, my thing is this also, the I, the the problem what I also have with Xbox is they, they showed the gameplay trailer for Halo Infinite. That was supposed to be their big reveal. Mm -hmm. That was supposed to be their big reveal. They I don't remember. They, exactly. They released it. People people slowed down the frames and start seeing how it still needs a lot of work to be up to the par where it's supposed to be. They delayed that game. They delayed it now until 2021. Pandemic. <coughs> Pandemic. Nope. I want to hear it. Pandemic. Bandit. It's a launch title, Will. Hey, 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 every, hey, 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 everything getting, it's hey, it's everything getting pushed back. Nate, uh, everything getting pushed back. Pat, come on, man. Come on. Let's not do that. Pole, right? That's a tent pole title for Halo for Xbox. I've never heard of a Mario game not being together when Nintendo dropped. I've Whoa. never heard of a Zelda game not being together when when Nintendo dropped. Oh, who, never heard of a Kratos game getting pu pushed back. Who never said heard it's of not? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. yes, it was. Cause God of Three was pushed back. Yes, it was. Come on. God of Three was pushed back because it's supposed for to come what? out in Feb, huh? For what? Uh, for just for re different release date, and that's the thing I was about to bring up about this. Because it, it wasn't just... up to par. No, 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 not because it wasn't up to par. I think it was for marketing thing. I think something else was coming out, and they didn't want it to combat with that, so they switched the date, which could be the same thing for Halo Infinite. I just think the idea that people would buy, again, I'm not a huge Halo, a huge Halo fan either, but I know there's Halo know. fans out there. I right. know there is. And that would have helped sell. That, that's oh, game, yeah, of course. That, that's a game that's going to help sell. And the idea that you can't get that on launch day is, it's tough. It's a tough pill to swallow, for sure. I don't even understand why really Xbox is coming out the same time as PS5. I don't I don't see why. you Like, were they already set to come out and then PS5 decided to up their time? Uh, I don't know. Coming to the Xbox, I'm just looking at launch titles, right? Like we, we're all talking about the consoles. Yeah, we, we just had this entire conversation about the acquisition of what Xbox went out and got, or Microsoft went out and got. What is some of the launch titles that are going to be available day that the console launched? I didn't even think of that until just now. What game are you playing day one of you getting the console in your hands? Xbox. I don't even know what's out. Uh, Xbox. Not, um, what is it? We, we got confirmed PS5 launch titles. You ready? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, Assassin's Creed. I'm, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to Microsoft after. I promise. I just I, was, I just put, Assassin's I Creed the Valhalla ones is a yes. launch title. Yeah, Man, we Valhalla. we know what these launch titles are for PS5. Why y'all? No, hold on. Hold on. No, I didn't know. Hold on. That's what I'm saying. We really don't know. <laughs> I didn't know. You know Miles Morales is gonna be out as soon as that PS5. We gonna bro. find out. Hold on. Yeah. We gonna talk about it. Yeah, I mean, Demon Souls is on there. Destruction All Stars, which is that dope ass twisted metal looking game. That I was interested in, I'd put, I'd pay sixty for that. Um, oh, what's that it called? Make, uh, Destruction All Stars. It uh, kind of looks like Twisted Metal. It was like a, a roller derby type, like a destruction. I mean, we can't lie. Sony had some busts too. Sony yeah, wasn't shooting a hundred, but yeah. Uh, we have Demons, Demon Souls, which is you know we're not into it, but at least they have it for people that want it. Uh, we got, we got, uh, of course, Mar Marvel Spider Man, Miles Morales. It's coming. And we have Sackboy. We have Sackboy. Oh, Sackboy. Oh, Sackboy. Sackboy. Sack getting it. Yep. That's all on the release date? That's all on the release date. And of course, the whole PS4 consoles and everything else like that. Hey, that's not that lit. <laughs> that's not, that's not. Day one launch is just now hitting me like, yo, what do we really have to play? Miles Morales. That's really it. Miles Morales. Oh, okay, but hold on, hold on. Here we go. Here we go, though. So. Xbox is also going to have Assassin's Creed, uh, Devil May Cry 5, FIFA they 21, Gear, uh, Gears 5, but it's upgraded. Marvel yeah. Avengers is coming. Uh, NBA 2K21. Uh, wow, hilarious. A new Tetris <laughs> is coming out. Watch Dogs Legion, uh, a new Yakuza game, which a lot of people are uh, expecting. On launch day, though, Will? Launch day. All of these, both systems are ass on launch day besides Miles Morales. That no, is we're, all, we're only talking about launch day. Launch day. There's, I didn't hear nobody know Yakuza being out launch day. 
That's launch day. These are the launch game. Yakuza there, like a dragon. Like a dragon. I see it. Yeah. It's, 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 it's there. Other than that, dirt five. I don't, I don't, I dirt got a five. Dirt, dirt, dirt five. Motocross game, yeah. Oh, yeah, dang. Wow, dirt five. Dirt Bright five. memory, yeah. Okay, that, that being said, like that, that's of course, that's launch day. Um, you know, but can we just have a moment to talk about our childhood really quick? When the hell did we ever really like who, who bought us our consoles when we were kids? Our parents. parents. Did we ever get them day of launch? No. no. We got them about, you know, six <laughs> months afterwards when there was a game, you know, the gaming roster had kind of opened up a little bit more. Right? Oh, is that what it was for? I thought it was because the price dropped. Oh, or that. I want to say I got 64 the Christmas it came out. But that was Zelda 64 and Mario 64, Kart. Yeah, Mario Kart. Yeah. And Mario 64, right? Yeah. Those three, unless unless I'm, I'm tripping them and I didn't get it the, till the year after, um, oh, I think I for, all three of those were launch dates. I forgot about I forgot about one that also coming to the PS5. Godfall. Godfall is a. It, I'm gonna show you the trailer of Godfall and say if you saw this, would you be hyped for it? I just I just want y'all a quick opinion on, it and we'll we'll move on. Let me go ahead and pull this up. Ooh, Overcooked on PS5 called All You Can Eat. Yes. Fire. Not yeah, till yeah. next year, but we could. That's still it. a good one. That's still a good yeah. one. Yeah, let me get this trailer. Up. Uh, Crazy, it's coming to PlayStation, though. It's oh, already on PlayStation, right? We cook. Over, over? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, what Sly Cooper be trying to get us to play it on. Oh, that's right. Okay. Hold on. Here we go. It's only a two minute. It's it's a two minute reveal trailer for this for this uh They're showing Miles Morales like it's its own game. I think that's just to sell consoles to be honest with you. I'm kinda worried still. And if it's not <laughs> that's game that's play a... gonna be all of two hours long, bro, and you are going to be pissed. And that's it a bad look on that PlayStation. Have you seen the uh the cover? Yeah, I saw the cover. Yeah. Cover art's out. I mean that's a start. Mm-hmm. They selling them. Uh to I will pre ordering them. Hold on, here's a Godfall reveal trailer. Damn, it's Assassin's oh. Creed and Spider-Man, that's actually a really good drop. Assassin's Creed, Spider-Man, I'm going to get Sackboy. That's their three heavy hitters. Yeah, I think those are the only three I'm going to buy. This Good is enough. the first time in my life where I'm like, I'm launch day, I got a console. Like, this is the first time in my life, so I'm experiencing something new. Really? Yeah, yeah, first time. So I'm really excited, but at the same time, it just hit me like, yo, what games are going to be out for us to play? Or is it just going to be sitting on the damn counter looking nice? You finna be, <laughs> you finna yeah, be playing is, Marvel it. Avengers with us while we're on PS4. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh, this is Godfall. This one was just a bunch of hard-ass bosses, right? Nah. Oh. Nah, this is like, more like a hack and slash. Type of, uh, let me actually get some combat for you. But apparently, this this again is coming out on the PS5. They look crazy though. They, they look dope. I will say that they do look dope. Like the so, ultimate mech warrior. I ain't, I ain't convinced shit. Ooh. All right. Well, let me go ahead and get the actual uh, gameplay. Like God of War a little bit. A little bit of some God of War type of feel to it. Hack and slash for sure. Did you play this game originally? Getting was there no, a different? This, like, no, I don't. I don't think this is connected to anything. This is okay. brand new. This is coming out for the PS5. This is a launch. Ah. This is a launch title. No, I'm saying like this isn't a continuation of anything. No, I think this is its own story. I'm <laughs> down to give something else a chance. That's what I'm saying. So this is the only Spider-Man one I th- continuation. Yeah, this one I can think. Creed continuation. Yeah, I don't want. I want to give something new a chance. All right, so here's the gameplay. Uh, this this is the combat system right here for it. And pull up Man Eater too. Okay. After this. Plus, well, Gearbox makes uh, Borderlands, so they, they got co-op pr- down pretty well, I will say that. Mm. Okay. Is it, the, is it basically a Avengers? Mm. Uh, it kind of. You can, put it, you can put it that way. Okay. I was scared it was going to be like a... What's it called? Fire Emblem or something? No. Oh, that's lit. <laughs> yeah. See, this, like I said, this is the only one that I think I've seen, and I'm like, uh, it's new, and it is a launch title. 
I feel like for launch titles, you got to give the new stuff a chance to. Yep. Yeah. Can't, can't I all think it's people. definitely time for somebody to kind of step in and shine. So, this this is what this is what's coming up. Hey, I'm I'm I'll buy it. I gotta yeah. I gotta think about all this stuff now. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. I, gotta, I gotta know what the can't what the story is like before I, before I say yeah or no. The gameplay does look good though. It does. It does. The gameplay actually does look very very well. Like, does Demon Souls look like this? Is it kind of like a third person? Nah, Demon Souls is way slower. Demon Souls, like, it's a lot slower of a gameplay. But it is third person, like your ass. Third person, yeah. What about Man Eater? Let me look up Man Eater. Let me get Man Man Eater. And then we got a couple games dropping in uh, December called Immortals and MXGP. Yeah, we got the Immortals also coming for Xbox. Bug Snack? Uh, Man Eater? Oh. Oh wow, Overcooked coming to Xbox. Everybody gonna be cooking. Everybody gonna be cooking. I like Godfall. I feel like it looks like it has like some Titanfall-esque. Yep. Like, almost like the designers of Titanfall made this. Right. It's, yeah. I thought it was pretty good, but man, are you talking about Maneater as in the, the, the shark? I don't know, I, I just saw the text. Okay. Is it a shark game? It is. A, it, it, when it meant Maneater, it actually meant man. You play oh, as, as in as in Jaws. Oh, as please in. play it. <laughs> I got to see this. Oh, you see the downloadable uh, Zero Sword? Is that from Mega Man or what? I don't know who, who zero, who zero that is. Okay, maybe there's a new Zero. That's what I'm saying. I don't know if that's part of that story. Let me actually look up. Dog. New well, Zero on the on the scene, Cleo. You gotta getting, add him to the roster, bro. Getting it's getting crowded. Exactly. Hold on, man. Hold on. It was originally just me and my man from Mega Man X, bro. Now you got him. You got uh, Zero from um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yep. The Sub Zero count? Nah. Damn. Kinda. Sub Zero got to count. I don't count them. I count them. Oh, this it's like the the graphics of zombie games. Oh, exactly. So you know what's about to happen. Oh. <laughs> Ah, hard pass. <laughs> <laughs> the hardest of passes. So Pitch you. Were... Someone really pitched a shark game to launch with the PlayStation Five. Mm. You know what's crazy though? There's games like this that are killing it on Steam. Oh, like the crab game. Yeah, like Remember the crab that? fight. Crab fight. Jesus Christ. Oh. oh this. What? I oh, your shark got powers now. The upgradable shark, though, with the it, dual barrel it. roll count. If there's not a shark with a freaking laser on its head, no, thank you. Let's check out the uh, the Xbox. What That's the Xbox hard pass, yo. They can what are the Xbox? Uh, can you look up uh, Observer System Redux? I think that, is that on both consoles? I yep. think it might be on both. But yeah, let's look. Let's do that one. Let's look up that one. Nothing serious. And Yakuza. Yeah, Yakuza games are all the same. Assassin's Creed is on both. New Fortnite on Xbox. Gears. Uh, do you want the game? Want, want the gameplay uh, demo for Observer? Nah, just a trailer. Just right. a trailer. I don't. I don't think it's it's what I think it is. So I'm not really. I just uh want to see exactly what it's about. What's Samurai Spirits? I don't know. All I know is I'm looking, looking through all this on YouTube, and I see that Hogwarts uh, Legacy on top right. I'm just like, so you just you just gonna keep shitting on Xbox like that, huh? No, I'm not gonna keep. That's not shit. That's right. just, that's nah, it, it, it's it, that, Sony. it yeah. is a Thomas Brothers high master ability to sneak this <laughs> so perfectly, so that's, perfectly. That's not what happens. <laughs> the fact that. Xbox tried to sneak Tetris into their their launch titles. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "What are y'all doing? What are y'all doing?" It's not week only one. That, we have three games. Well, no, no, no. Not only that, why is man in there? <laughs> why is it when you go to the next column and it says "Games Coming to the Xbox Series X"? Poyo Poyo Tetris Two, December six. Poyo, oh the chicken Tetris. I'm like, why? <laughs> why? You gotta stop. They got Gears 5, they got Avengers, which I did not see on the PlayStation side, which is interesting. 
I mean, it's, it's just going to be upgraded. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah, because they say you could transfer everything to the PS5, right? That's what I'm saying. It's a fully upgradable. I just want to see Gears 5, Samurai Spirits, and uh, the Falconeer. This is System Redo. This is on PS5 too, huh? Yeah, it's on both of them. So it's really just like pairing. Like, if you get both systems, like, which, which do I want to play on each? That's what I'm saying. That or which exclusives are worth it. And that's where that's where it gets interesting. Them be. No, oh, I'm yeah. not really. Because now, if you're thinking about that and you have both systems, think about it now. Outside, like, best example, I would play Valhalla on Xbox before I play it on PlayStation. Why? Because cause I know that gaming experience is going to be ridiculous. Can bro, like, remodeling? Just that in the fights, like the way, like, like, bro, when I, when I play, you going to see that ax go straight into that dude's chest and ridge down because of how powerful the Xbox is. But I'm going to definitely be playing Miles Morales on PlayStation because it's only on PlayStation. There's a few titles that you will want to see just because of the better gaming details. And, and that's why like, it's going to, that's why Sony's just going to move more, con- like at the end of the day, Sony's going to move more consoles. That's just, that's just what it is. I oh, was yeah. going to I was going to say this as well. You know the the um we were talking about the uh well, we, well i mean and of course final fantasy 16 right is in is coming to sony ps5 right so i just wanted to bring up this last story about xbox because they are trying this this is this is this is part of the whole idea and again this is something that they're doing that's good the price drop in japan why is this good could it's good because it's going it's Listen, Microsoft has, uh, has always had a problem getting, you know, Japan into the Xbox for obvious reasons. A, because they have, they have a PlayStation. Sony is Japanese. They're gonna, probably going to buy that anyway. But the idea that you're trying to come in at a lower price point to get people onto the Xbox, not the worst idea. It dropped because they actually played it, and they were like, ugh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You knew he was gonna do this, Kadeem. No, I'm no, no. I, no he's Sneak dissing. You knew he was gonna do that. No, listen. I'm here. He, I'm here to let you know that this was a good idea from Microsoft because they. No, all, it wasn't. Will trust me. For all the ex- <laughs> Kadeem, for the exact reason Pat just said. That's why this happened, and we all know it. I'm here riding for Xbox, and I know. They dropped it because don't nobody fucking in Japan buy Xbox. That's yeah, why they, they dropped it. They dropped it by 30 bucks. But the thing is, that's the reason why. That's not a good thing. That is, Will. Which is, what I'm telling you is it came in at 299 Over there, it's going to be 269 That's hey, not that different. It, hey, it, it's, a, it's much of a difference to, to make it. I think that more people will be more enticed to buy it. And Loki, you, you are, and I can vouch for that because I cannot tell you how many more people come in and buy stuff when Apple puts it on sale and it's just like 30 bucks less. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I think it's a good idea for Microsoft. I really think this was actually a good idea. This is at, at a much, and we're like the whole, what are you doing Microsoft? Or what mm-hmm. are you doing Xbox? This was a good idea. I think this so, especially if they're, you know, struggling with uh, moving units in that area, it makes sense. They and, um, you know, you get a little bit extra money for a different game. Or another controller, so. I hate it here. Come on, Pat. I'm saying I'm no, I'm, I'm grasping at straws. I basically just laid out the pros and cons of a sale. <laughs> if they're if they're struggling, like wait. struggle, the struggle. Yes. <laughs> no, they, no, Kadeem, Kadeem just said that they don't sell a lot over there because they have PlayStation. So he yeah. does not know that. I do. I where pro- where did you f- see that at? First of all, it's, first of all, it's Kadeem. Yeah, like, I, look, like, I know that, but at le- le- let me dig my hole. Awesome. Okay, let I'm, me dig my hole. Okay, where I did mean, you see that at? I literally like you got to think about when the Xbox came in, right? The Xbox came in after the PlayStation, right? Think about that for a quick second. It came in during the PS2 era, which the PS2 is probably the most successful selling thing ever. But you know, hands down. So it came. It was Microsoft. It was the Xbox and the PS2 at the same time. At that time, there, there not many people were gonna go over there and buy that Xbox. It just wasn't gonna happen. So, yeah, they have been struggling selling. Microsoft has been selling, struggling selling consoles over there the whole time. It just, oh, so, so what you're saying is you don't know. 
I know. I do know. If you just, wasn't there, know. Kadeem, wasn't there a picture in a Japanese, like, uh, uh... I'll pull up numbers. If you want me to pull up numbers, I'll pull up numbers. You There's a I picture in a Japanese, like, superstore, and it's a bunch of Xbox consoles for, like, a crazy low price. Do you remember this? Uh, when, when it was, like, the one or the original? I'm gonna find it. Give me a second. Hold on. Um... Let's see. Here we got why Microsoft isn't as popular in Japan as Sony's uh, this was released in October 8th, 2019 by CNBC or CNBC. Why Japan gamers don't buy Xbox. A whole article about it. I could go down the list and read this, but do you really want to go through that? <laughs> but, but them numbers, though. Do you well, have do you, that? Do you want the numbers? I, I, that's Bill, what I thought ah, you were looking for. It just, it, sir, white flag it, please. You we, don't will, research we will put a pin in this and come back to it. I just just want us to know. You know you what, ain't going to come back to it. <laughs> wasn't no real evidence given about this, so we can't stay the struggling. But we are going to move here. forward. No, 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 no. Here, just one, just one number. I wish you do this. One number. One, one sentence. Today, Microsoft still struggles to sell consoles in Japan. Of the 46.9 million Xbox One sold worldwide through the second quarter of 2019, 0.3 percent of them have been in Japan. Yikes! That's even There's worse. There's your than fucking five. number. <laughs> 0.3. So, so mic drop. How many people playing them though in Japan? But what we don't go. Don't look for that. Don't look for that. Cause see, I see how y'all was remixing the words for you for you PlayStation people. I'm saying now this is gaming politics, and we getting a lot better. I'm, I'm starting to see you in cahoots, your little PSers. Uh, well, what else we had next though? We we can't stay on this. We can't. Me stay. and me and Pat are both buying both consoles. I don't know about my brother, but I'm gonna buy both consoles. So you know, name, you, absolutely. I'm buying both consoles. I didn't get a chance to pre-order the, the Xbox. I slept on it, but I do want both consoles to have. Yeah, we're talking like we're talking shit. Like we're not gonna buy both. Well, we're buying both. Everyone no, got to this comments talking about the slander got to stop from Microsoft. The slander will stop when they stop making dumb mistakes. I will if they if it's dope. I will be the first to say it. But I'm. I'm not just gonna be ignorantly saying it's trash and not playing it. That's exactly. ridiculous. Exactly. Can we, I mean, can we see the Gears right? game? Can we see the new Gears game and um, the Falconeer? I think it's just Gears 5's updated. That's yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's just Gear 5's updated. Yeah, it's, it's out of new game. Gears. It, it, tactics? Oh, that game. You, you don't want to see different? Gears Tactics. You don't, don't want to see Gears Tactics. Tactics. That's not Gears of War? No. It's yeah, like, what, 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 what was that God of War they made that was like multiplayer? It's like plants it's, and zombies, Pat. Okay. No, yeah, it's, you, it's yeah. literally a tactical video game. It's literally we, don't, we don't count that with the franchise. Yeah. Is the Falconeer really about a dude with a falcon? Let's find out. I don't know what the Falconeer is. That'd yeah, I couldn't crazy. find nothing on it. Falconeer. Falconeer. The last thing we need is a game called Falconeer that Pat can jump into. Because the next time we're going to jump in a Zoom meeting, Pat's going to be <laughs> sitting there with a falcon on his wrist. Like, oh, yeah. right. Why would you give him that idea? This I'm is probably. Xerxes. <laughs> I'm into this game now. I have a Falcon. <laughs> I, I have a Falcon. <laughs> Fully commit and everything. First, first it's going to be the glove for the Falcon to sit on. He's just going to show us that. Just Right. <laughs> cool, right? <laughs> you can just hear Mag, Pat, what is that on your hand? You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> That'd be tight. No, that's a little abuse, though. I got nowhere to put a Falcon. All right, here we, here we go. The Falconeer Xbox Series X. Here it comes the trailer for it. Oh, give me that. Actually, I do like the noise of the Xbox. Let me go ahead and back it up. Let me get it. It's full up. Look at that. Oof. I didn't hear it. Are we oh. supposed to? You want to hear it? I know I haven't been playing the no, 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 no. Just for, just for copyright purposes. Oh, yeah. All right, so yeah. you're for sure a falcon. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know. Listen. You're a falcon with a laser on your head. Is that what that is? I saw it shooting. I am all for this. This is nice. I'm for this. This is nice. Is it a person on it? I think you're actually a falconeer, so you're like a pilot of a falcon. Oh, that's oh, a giant so falcon? You're machi oh, you're manning it. You're, you're, you're manning you're a the falcon. You're a giant falcon. That's a giant falcon in the air. That's hard. I'll get I was this. like, is that a tiny person on there or is it a big bird? I would get this. I'll get oh, this. It's if anyone <laughs> would know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to like this. Yes, you will, because you played Journey. This don't remind you of Journey? Low key. There That's a go. good point. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cutesy. The artwork. 
You were playing Airplane playing games are always bothered me with the camera control, so this was going to be one of those situations for That's me. That's what I, I've never really been into airplane games, and it seems like it's closer to that. But that is a flying turtle island, so I think that's... That was a crab. That was, that was a crab. crab. Right up my alley. Right. Mm -hmm. This I, I'll get this. I hope it is like Journey, though. Like, it's just like maybe like how you said with about Miles and Rally as Cleo. It's two hours. If this is a, a seven hour, eight hour dedication, nah, I'm cool. Well, it can't be was... $80 if so. No, it can't be. No, I'm sorry. The Falconeer. The Falconeer. Pre order now. I will say this. Any, I'm, I don't think any of us. Really has anyone Falcon. played uh, Panzer Dragon? Panzer Dragoon? Have you ever heard of that I've game? I've heard of it. More Dragoon yeah. games with you, Kanan? Yeah, no, is no, this no, the no, Dark no. sequel? That's what it's <laughs> yeah, Dark Stop goes it. to prison. Stop it. <laughs> Dark gets a time machine. <laughs> Don't do that to Dark me. goes to summer camp. He should just become a satire character. <laughs> Dark goes to Hyrule. He's good. Damn it, bro. You Poor really Dark and rolls in Hogwarts. You gonna turn him into the oh. kite man of video games? That's what you gonna do to my yep. boy? That's exactly what he did. That'd be yep. tight. I would get into it. If he became like the Wreck-It Ralph and he could just switch dimensions. That'd be hard. Dark hey, yo, Loki. They should pitch Dark to be the new face. No, never mind. Let me not disrespect him like that. I'm sorry. I'm not finna no, say No, you should be the kite. You gonna turn my man to the kite, man. I get it. I get it. I get and it. And he never knows he's getting into the situation. Like, what's this Gotham place? Let's go there for a vacation. <laughs> and then there's like two, two hours of him going through hell. <laughs> <laughs> get the Dark DLC. Right. Just so everyone knows, this is what Panzer Dragoon was. And you're gonna tell, and I'm just gonna show you. This is the game that I Ew. feel like the Falconeer was, or trying to be. Ugh, I hate the whatever's flying. It's gross. Yeah, it's. I mean, this is an old school game. This came out like on the Sega Saturn. This is like the one of Sega Saturn's only good games. This is nothing like the Falconeer. This looks really good for the Sega Saturn, though. I was about to say for the Sega Saturn, though. No, that's no. Sega good. Saturn has some good games. Why is like, like made wise? I'm sorry. The cursor is giving me Star Fox vibes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, but it's, it's it's like a rail shooter type of type of deal. That's what they call them. Rail shooters, so, yeah. Yeah. Rail shooter. Yeah. Type of, type of game. But like I said, it's just the Falcon here kind of reminded me of that. Of this game. Is, is Samurai Spirits an Xbox exclusive? I don't know. Take a look. That's really the only one, other one that uh, pops out. And other than that, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I think. Um, I think launch day we might just have have to be cool with one or two games, All and uh, I think I think that's fine because you know we want to be excited and like come home with like ten games like it's Christmas, but we're we're, we're realistically going to be invested into like a few games and then hopefully shit drops in Christmas. Is yeah. there? And you don't want to fall off like that because imagine if Miles Morales, Ragnarok, the new Final Fantasy VII game. All and the Hogwarts game all stressful. came out around the same time. You might sleep on one, and then it's like, stressful. dang, hell is stressful. You got to space them out. That's true. I would love Final Fantasy VII remake part two announcement. Would they call it Final Fantasy VII two? <laughs> you guys are screwed with this number system. You guys know that, right? <laughs> no, not if you name it, because they started naming them. Seven remake two, probably. What or, do you mean? It'll be Final Fantasy VII remake. A different title because now the re what did you did you guys finish the game yet no please don't oh well then never mind are you going to well, play it, are you finish it? I, yeah yeah yeah. Okay, uh, so i don't know when <laughs> so much stuff is coming out it's right. gonna be like maybe they'll do like chapter two or something yeah or something. Two. just know that what we thought remake meant don't really mean remake so okay so they might start naming them because i remember it was what uh final fantasy 7 advent exactly children. great point well they might start renaming it because what we it, thought remake was and what's what's the guy that has that's with the red bandana and kind of has like the gold kind of hand with the oh, uh, uh, Vincent? What was his game that he had? Dur he had his own Dirge game. of Cerberus. Yeah, Dirge. but it was Final Fantasy VII Dirge of Cerberus. Yep. Dirge. Dirge. D i r g e. What is that? I don't know. Is that a word? It's a word. Never know what it meant though. It was Dirge. a pretty good game. If they do that though, that means we might get I mean, Advent children. Especially we don't need Advent children. We don't need Advent children. We don't need Advent children. I'm telling you. If you play the game, you finish this game off. Low key, you've already got it. I'll just, you'll see. There, of Man, course, there is. There, there is the whole thing that, of course, we're all we're all just 
and I just want to think we should probably address it. Is the the idea that we're still gonna be able to play our PS4 catalog or Xbox catalog of games, or most of them will still be able to be transferred over. You can just play it a little bit faster and a little bit better on the PS5. So it's not like you can't play any anything. You know what I mean? You can still play your 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 library. That's the biggest thing for me. Like backwards compatibility is such a huge thing it that is. I feel like it shouldn't be up for debate. If you get the new console, you should at least be able to play the previous console's games, without a doubt. Yeah. So are, are we confirming that both PS5 and Xbox Series X, you can play the previous console's games? All Xbox, of them? Xbox is confirmed. Xbox, they, they have backwards comp- capability down. Like, they've been having that down. Everything. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. Yeah, even, on, even, on the, even on your disc? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Only sure. Xbox is, and I think, and I think for PlayStation though, know, I think it don't even have to do with them. I think it has to do with the companies. That's sure, why. I think those are the ones that's just kind of like, yo, nah, don't move all of that over and stuff, because they might be trying to relaunch something. Because I know like Spider-Man stuff doesn't transfer over. Yeah. Memory um, serves me correct. I'm um, looking at the confirmed PlayStation Plus collection games, which are ones that are not enhanced PS5 versions. Um. But they're they're compatible. So you got Arkham Knight, you got Bloodborne, you got Fallout 4, Final Fantasy 15, God of War, Infamous Second Son, Last of Us. Last of Us. Yeah. So I mean, it's okay. But I do. Uh, I'm gonna fall. Go ahead, Cleo. I I played Last of Us for like two days, and I was like, nope. Dude, I have Last of Us, the first one, in a case, still in the plastic. I have yet. But I'm playing it for Halloween, though. I am gonna play it for Halloween. I bought the second one and never started it. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to try the first one and see how it goes. But I did have something as far as like PlayStation goes, which I thought was pretty cool. Somebody by the name of a uh, Money Man had uh, mentioned this as a theory. So, you know, like the new God of War is coming out, right? With Ragnarok? Ragnarok. So the theory is that he has is that the boy, as uh, Kratos keeps refer- uh, referencing to him, uh could potentially be Loki. That was, um, yep. I think that was yep. slightly hinted at. Yep, and one of the, I, I watched a YouTube video explaining that, so yeah. Yeah, so that was interesting. Yeah. Yep. I love that. That'd be cool. I mean, I really, really, really enjoyed the storyline for the first one, God of War, that we talked about all the time. The most epic, you know, games I've probably ever played. So this next gen, especially since the PS4 one to me showed out, I don't know what heights they can bring this to, you know what I mean? And especially now that we got like Loki and Thor, like. You remember this is, this is Ragnarok. So this is basically Armageddon. Yeah. So this is, this is like God of War 3, but with PS5 graphics. And uh, what, North, Norse? Is it called Norse mythology? Norse mythology. So you got. Apology. Yeah, so you got not only that, now we got to deal with Odin. Like, Odin may even pop up in this one. Yeah. Yep. Definitely going to give um, the last game uh, a quick play before it comes out just to like refresh, but I'm excited. Yeah. That's like one of the bigger ones for sure. Yeah. Most definitely. But, uh, Pat, I know you said you had some more stuff as far as like rolling out in the video game news that you want to bring up as well. Yeah, so I mean, it seems like we're kind of in this sort of like, you know, reacting to trailers mode um we did the a whole lot of xbox what are you doing so i want to close with um a trailer of people who a company that's always known what they what they're doing and that is nintendo and the game is the legend of zelda they just (laughs) dropped they just dropped the uh the trailer uh, for their new game. It's going to be kind of like the style of Hyrule Warriors, which I'm not really excited about. I didn't really like Hyrule Warriors. I'm going to go back and give it a second chance because I refuse to hate on this this new game. Um, but yeah, they dropped it. Apparently this takes uh, place 100 years before Breath of the Wild uh, during that first fight where Link and the champions uh, fought all of the Guardians and Ganondorf and ended up getting them hands all of them died. Link was thrown in a, a, a juice box. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's, this is, uh, what's, it, what, what's it called again, uh, Kadim? Age of Calamity. The calamity. The calamity. Age of Calamity, like the Calamity Ganon. 
So he is serving a, a lot of goblins that you're kind of used to. Huh? That's the thing about Link. I, I don't see my man taking down armies. Like, that's not what Link is. Why? He That's what he's been doing. It's just, you know, a little at a time. <laughs> Usually it's like, you know, a good six off top. He's, he's taking down six people at one time. This man is not taking down 30. You don't know that. I, I According to the history of this, bro, he's capable of wiping out armies single-handedly. And you've seen him in Smash Bros. against all those little, you know, crystal characters at, at a time. Like, One Zelda, at a time. the pace of Zelda just makes it so that he only fights a couple of people at a time. That's like saying Cloud can't fight armies. He, he When went up against them, he'd probably throw down. But we, we see him in a, more of a, you know, RPG setting. I guess you're right. A couple at a time. Yeah, but yeah, this is the gameplay of it. Obviously, it's it's, it's, it's Hyrule Warriors. It's it's Hyrule Warriors with Breath of the Wild graphics. Yeah. I mean, I do like him right like surfing on the, on his uh, shield though. That's pretty dope. That is cool. But it's that just cool. God. I hope I don't get bored of this. <laughs> you will. Cause... Because uh, Hyrule, I, I'm I'm a I'm a play Hyrule Warriors again. I'm gonna give it another shot. Is there a new design for Impa or something that that was supposed to come with this? Uh, I think so. Let me I saw something earlier saying to look at what Impa looked like a hundred years ago, and I was like, wait, what? Let me take a look. Hold on. Let me get that. And who was it, Pat? Who was Impa in the Breath of the Wild game? In Impa, uh, in in Breath of the Wild, Impa was the short, really old lady who brought you to the. Uh, uh, restoration chamber. Okay. She was sitting in, uh, when you go to, I think it's Kakariko Village. I think that's the one she's in. You go up those long stairs and uh, that old lady that's sitting there with the giant hat and she's the one who gives you the, uh, or tells you about the uh, the Sheikah slate. Gotcha. Upgrades and stuff. So she's sort of like that big, that old lady. I always, um, what was, uh, what was the name of that, 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 uh, the girl in Hyrule Warriors. She was also in uh, Ocarina of Time. She looked Gerudo or Gerudo. She had the giant sword. Oh shit! Uh, I thought that was Impa. Is it? Is it? I mean, of course they could have rewrote the story, but this is the actual trailer. So this is the trailer that actually dropped today. Uh, yeah, either today. Oh, like or, two or three yeah. days ago. Like, yeah, the, no, the most recent. September twenty-six. So yeah, so yesterday. A little bit more of the uh, storyline. So all the champions. Oh wow! So oh, he's dope. I feel like his gameplay would be cool. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. She like that Pam Greer. Is, is that her? No. Who that? That's one of the champions. Damn. She's the mm. champion me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, her name's uh the Sheikah Warrior is uh Impa. Falco's in this? <laughs> it's pretty much looks like Falco. That's a cool little. That would be a cool crossover, though. Yeah, since they're not doing anything with Star Fox, they 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 buried Star Fox. They did. Eh, I mean, the last one came out for the Wii U, and uh, that didn't sell well. So I don't know when we're gonna see him again. They need to take him out of the ship. He's a dope character. Make that's him like a Han. Really. If they make him like a Han Solo, that's on foot mostly, and then with some. Jet missions or or, or spaceship mi missions, then he would be lit. Hell yeah, like kind of like Star Wars, like a few mm -hmm. levels of like outer outer space type of stuff, but most time he'd be on planet. Animal there's, Star Wars, that's an easy pitch. There's Star, there's Star Fox. What is it? The one for the GameCube that did that, and they haven't went back to that since. So, Man, yeah. try this is too early. This is that this is that filler, you know what I mean? This is just to get us ready and amped up for uh, Breath of the Wild too. Yeah. But uh I have to oh, I gotta give it a gotta give it a shot. I'm not that excited about it, but I'm a I'm a I'm gonna try. <laughs> Listen man, that's gonna be a no for me, big dog. I already played this once. All the reason why I don't wanna play is because I don't wanna get a disdain from the Zelda legacy and two 
from what you mentioned to me about what the age of calamity is, I just really don't like that they took that story and then used this format for that because it sounded like a really dope story. Like the champions going against this dude, like we know what happened, but I'm like, we've seen stuff like that that's come out really dope. So I feel like it's just kind of like a missed opportunity to use like I agree. the format. I, so. I see what they, I see why they did that though, because like at the end of the day, whenever we ref, reference what happened a hundred years ago, it was a big battle. It was just a huge <laughs> battle where like, there were just guardians everywhere. So unless you really wanted to use the Breath of the Wild combat system where it was really hard to take down one guardian, you know, unless you were like really souped up, it really just made the most sense <clears throat> if you were talking about war. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, to focus on moving the story ahead with the big open world aspect of it. So it makes sense, I get it. And I'm gonna force myself to become a fan of this. <laughs> <laughs> All it takes is some YouTube videos. I feel like, like if you really want to become a fan of something, and you just look at some folklore, look up some pros doing it, look up some stuff that happens like further on in the game. I know how to force myself into fandom. I'll, I'll, I'll be all right. <laughs> I just need it explained right. I like the oh. cheat sheet Pat uses to get more into something. <laughs> you have to, because if you if if sitting down and just accepting it isn't enough, you gotta you gotta use some other stuff, other instruments. Uh -huh. I'm guilty of it, bro. I told you, like, it's a shock to everyone. The God of War PS4 thing, it just did not hit me. I tried, and I was like, I'm not liking this. I don't like the gameplay. It's not hitting for me. Like, the few YouTube videos, I was like, okay, I get why people love the gameplay style, the different yeah. axes you can get, dope. Like, the story, and I was like, shit is dope. Right. And you kind of, it was like a workaround. And then even mm -hmm. if you were to go back and play it, even though you still kind of don't like it, it's a little bit different. It feels like a little bit like, okay, I'm, you're almost like you accepted a little bit more past you not liking it because you know all that other stuff. So I, I probably won't finish it if I don't like it, but we shall see. We shall see. Now we just got to figure out how to get Cleo to like Mario. I don't get it. Yeah, I, you know yeah, what? Actually, I do get it. I do get it because I played 64 and I beat 64, then I beat Galaxy. Then I started playing Sunshine. And I understand everything. 64 is very clunky. Galaxy got everything right. It's the masterpiece. <laughs> Galaxy got it right. If you try Galaxy, if you don't like Galaxy, you just, you're never going to like it. Pat, that's what I'm saying. Just I understand. Him, let him try Galaxy and he'll be done. You because haven't tried I, Galaxy yet. I never did. Oh, okay. What I never did was go backwards. I went from 64 to Galaxy, which was an upgrade, but then I went back to Sunshine, and it's almost unplayable. <laughs> yeah. Like it's kind of it's kind of rough just getting used to the new, the the new system. Uh, yeah. And I'm I'm definitely gonna play through the whole thing, but like Galaxy just got it all right, so it's hard to go backwards. So it's just try Galaxy. I'm gonna yeah, give man. Galaxy a shot, man. This is this Please is do. it. This is all I got. This is heaving it from half court with this one. If that thing don't sink, bro, throw the whole think, arena away. Yep. No, I, I agree. If you don't like Galaxy, I feel like it's that's it. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> you yeah, you done that's trying? It. That's it. That's it. I try to figure out Cleo's man, like just game types, man. But it is just everywhere. Once you think you got it lit, you it just be no. Because I'll be like, okay, he likes serious games like Metal Gear and stuff. So it's like, oh, he don't like Mario. I get it. But then it's like, nah, I don't like Elder Scrolls and none of that stuff. I'm like, but how? You like Castlevania. I don't, <laughs> like, I don't get it. I'm getting it's ready to start Kingdom Hearts in October. So, you know, this is where I am. It's a mystery. This is all gaming. We all have our own different tastes and likes, bro. I can dig it, man. I can dig it. Well, this has been a great episode of the arcade tokens podcast a lot of passion for a lot of things people may not be too passionate about dropping right now but hey just like as patrick said maybe something that we have said will convince you otherwise maybe those that didn't like hyrule warriors are gonna now buy it just because of the excitement pat has and still giving it a chance of sticking to that zelda spirit maybe people will get the xbox series x just because of the simple fact there was a almost two hour bashing of it but at the end each person in this podcast is still buying one so anyway we can help push the video gaming culture a little bit further we're always proud to do but that's going to be our time thank you so much for joining us here on the rk tokens podcast always a pleasure and thank you to kadeem the tech guy for holding us down we are the rk tokens i am the anomaly will pharaoh 
Cleo Thomas, I came in Magic Cloud. And we will catch you next time.